One thing about fishing this live bait, you want to match the hatch. You want to use the size minnows that the fish are feeding on at the time. Right now, it seems like most of the bait that's coming through is about the size of the ones that we have. Two and a half, maybe three inch long thread pin shad. So that's what these fish are feeding on right now. So it's always good to try to match the hatch when you're fishing. And that's what we're doing today. And the bait that I want to catch this morning, I want it to be about that long. I got my bait tank here, ready to go. I just went ahead and filled it up with water when I put the boat in a while ago. I got over here a little bit later than I really wanted to. It's, uh, you can see right there at 7.38 in the morning. Hey, let's get this net out here. I got it right here. Look, I got my new little contraption right here I'm gonna try today. I'll show y'all about that in just a minute. Get my net out. This net right here that I got, it's a seven foot net. Y'all see this thing right here? When I catch this bait, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I've been putting, you know, I've been putting my bait in a plastic container and then putting it in the uh, bait tank over there. You know, kind of sort through it. But a buddy of mine from up North Carolina, Jason Spence, he told me to try this right here. So what this is right here is a floating net and I put me some noodles around it. Uh, uh, swimming pool noodles, whatever they call them things. And I got them on with zip ties around through there. And I'm gonna put this down in the water. And also too, I put me some little weights. See right there, little weights around through there. See, that'll keep that down. That'll keep that down in the water. It's gonna sit about two foot down in the water. So the purpose of this is, is when you put your bait in it, with this in the water, all the scales that come off the bait will wash out into the river instead of going in your bait tank. And you scoop them out of here to put them in your bait tank. So we're gonna try this right here. But before we do that, we gotta go find some, find some bait. So I'm gonna cut this on. And we're gonna pull over here, around this bridge right here, and see if we can find some. Hopefully it won't take us too long. That sun just now coming up. Boys, oh Lord, it's bright today. I feel good today, y'all, feel good. Sure day. I feel good. I hope we catch some fish, I really do. I'm gonna show y'all everything we catch today. I don't care if it's a, I don't care what it is, y'all. But uh, I wish I'd go over here a little bit early, like right at daylight. A lot of times when that sun gets up, this, this bait will move back out in that, in that deeper water. And it's, it's really hard to find. So uh, let's just see what happens here. It may take a while to catch it and might not catch it. I don't know. You know, it's always a mystery. When you go live bait fishing, just to be on it, will you? Uh, it got on them right there, I think. Think it did. Hope so. I hope so. I think we got. Oh yeah, we got them this time. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Oh Lord, I got them. Let's see. Let's go back here. Put that in the water. Yep. Put that. Oh Lord. Put that in the water. See right here like it. See the Oh yeah. Really good ones too, boy. Oh Lord. The reason I do this right here too, it keeps the trash out of your bait tank. Oh man, that's some fine bait right there. Right, right there, catch anything in this river. Mm-hmm. See, I won't show y'all right here about this. See how this thing here works? See all that bait down in there? See, and that way all this trash right here, if you just dump that straight in your bait tank, see, look at that, oh Lord, you would, uh, you get all that trash and stuff in there. See, you don't wanna do that. See, look at that, I'm gonna just leave them in there just a minute. When you catch bait, you'll lose some of the scales on them. And if you, when you put them straight in your bait tank, you get all them scales in your bait tank and it stops your, your inflow up. I'm gonna let them sit there just a minute. And, uh, and then I'm gonna put them in my bait tank here. So I'm gonna let them just sit in there and just kind of do their thing. Okay, let's try to catch another, some more. I don't like to run out of bait, I don't have to. See, I've got this live scope right here. And that's what I hunt bait with. I don't really use that that much when I'm fishing. I mean, I'll look at it, see if there's fish, but I just hardly ever even use it like I know guys use these live scopes. They can see the fish come up and get the bait. I don't do nothing that. I don't even have it set like that, so I don't even know how that works. But my big deal with live scope is it's catching bait. See, I got that 
lines go pointing in front of this boat wherever that that trolling motor is looking that head of that sea look here see see I, I just scan see I just scan see it just goes this way that way and that way I can see them on here see right here see there's a bunch of them right there y'all see that right there look at oh lord am I so let's get over here and see if we can't catch it so that right there is showing me that they're right through here and it's 30 30 feet out in front of the boat so let's ease out here and just make a throw and see and i usually set my trolling motor on about three speed right there three mile an hour whatever that is in number three see them right here okay they're just right out here in front i'm just going i cut the trolling motor off before i get to them because they'll spook if you don't see right here see them now, i don't know if we're going to catch in or not but i'm when it gets to when it gets to 10 feet in front of the boat i'm throwing which is right now So you can see the net go down. Oh yeah, it went right on top of them. So I'm assuming, see the net right here? Right through the middle of them. So I'm assuming we may have some, I don't know. We'll see. Let's pull it up, let it go all the way to the bottom and you pull it up. Feels like I got some, really does. We'll see. I hope so. Just to show y'all. Oh yeah, we'll see, see here? Look at that, see right there? there you go now this is going to be all the bait we're going to need today so anyway i'm going to go back here and put it in my little holding container right here y'all can see it you got to make sure your net's inside that though because if you, if you open your net for it if it ain't inside of it you lose all your bait it'll go outside so see it see it down in there shake it off down in there but oh lord it might way back to catch him yeah that was a good throw okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop these out of here and we're gonna ease them in this bait tank just ease them in there don't just sling them in there you don't want to overfill your bait tank um, with bait because if you do okay see that's all of them right there if you do They'll, they'll rub up against each other in there when they're real thick in there they'll rub up against each other and they'll start losing a lot of scales and when they do that they pretty much don't last very long after that so tell you what that little deal right there worked pretty good shorty pretty tickle with it we could go fish right now it's eight o'clock so it took us 20 minutes folks today i'm gonna show you everything we catch on, the, on this live bait. If I catch a drum, I'm going to show it to you. If I catch a catfish, I'm going to show it to you. I hope you catch a big crappie, though. There he is. I believe this is a crappie. I do. No, it's not. It's a little bass. It's a little spotted bass. Sure would like catch a crappie. There he is. I think it's going to be a crappie. Oh, it was. I saw him. He come up to the top, big one too. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? God. Looked like about a pound and a half. He started coming up right out there and he just rolled over and I seen his side. Black crop. Mm-hmm. Nice. I could tear up a hot dog right now. Lord have mercy with some radish on it. I could. Two of them probably. Let's see what the boat's sitting in right here. It's deep right here. Now, well, it's 19 foot. Where we, see, 19 foot right there where we sit, 20 foot. And on this side of the boat over here, it's about 40. So we're sitting right on the edge of this, this drop-off right here into the river channel. Cool, there he is. Did y'all see that? I think this might be a... I don't know what this is. I don't think it's no crop if it is it's a big one what is it oh man it's okay hey we got another species channel kid <laughs> i don't want to break this line so i'm gonna i'm gonna dip him up that's a pretty channel cat. Yeah, it is i come over here at this one particular place right here trying to catch a crappie but uh 
ended up with a few channel key. Boy, that's pretty. See, got them little specks on it. Look at there. Yep. Beautiful little fish. I'm not going to eat him. Uh, we done got some channel cat. I was hoping that'd be a crappie. I gotta get that snot off my line. Oh, Lord. Crappie see that on there. It won't ever bite. Thanks a big booger. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm just throwing up. Alright, I'm just letting that current. Letting it go down to the bottom. And we got some real good current right here. Just letting it go down to the bottom. And just swing right around through here. Right around the back of the boat. So it's just covering all this area right in here. All right. One just hit it when I was reeling it back in. He sure did. Look here. I'm talking about he hit it. Look at that. See them teeth marks right there? Let me do it. Look at them. Yep. Crappie. Sure was. Poor man. Yeah. Poor man. Got another lick. That felt like a crappie. There he is. Uh oh, what is this? Uh oh. You know we might. Uh oh, this this is a big fish. Now, he thumped on it too, man. This ain't and it ain't no it ain't no catfish or nothing. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Oh man, look at this. Goodness, good nice bass right here. Whew, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna go ahead and get him up here. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, my goodness. I better, I, better, I tell you what, I better than that. This little light line I got, it'll break fine. Careful, just let me net him up. Let me just get him just like this. Yep, there he is right there. Well, I tell you what, he thumped on it. I'm telling you, he thumped on it. Oh boy, just pulled my thumb up too. Them things have got some sharpest teeth I ever seen. Look at that. Boy, I had them right in the snoot. Right there where you're supposed to get them. Oh. Well, how don't y'all look at that? Man, I tell you what, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Sun ain't even gone down good yet. All right, I'm gonna turn this and loose. Turn him loose. Go back down in there. Boy, he thumped. He thumped on it like a like thump. Like he, yeah. I ought to retire. I know I should. I know I should retire. Now, we sitting in 30 foot of water before I caught that fish. Look at it. 30 foot. Th no, 35. Th wait a minute. 34 foot of water. Short head right here on the edge of the river channel. Not catching up. I could tear it up. See, what could I tear up? I'm hungry. I could tear up a big hot dog right now. Reddish on it. Because I ain't eat much nothing all day long. I think one just sniffed on it. I do. There he is. This is... This is a good fish right here. This is a big fish. Uh oh, I may have to I may have to float after this. I may have to follow this one down the river. Goodness. This ain't no crappie, I can just tell you that right now. Goodness. He's stout. I tell you that much, he's stout. Lord mercy. We having one heck of a day with these live bait, I can just tell you that. I ain't got him in yet though, and I ain't seen him. Little old six pound test line, I don't trust it. Goodness. You know, I mean, seriously. I mean, this ain't no little fish. This ain't no crappie, I promise you. If it is, it's a new world record. Okay, there's my leader right there. I just seen my Alberto not come up on my leader line. Oh Lord, it's a big flathead. I mean, booger dogs on. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't do that, don't do that. He seen me, he seen me get the net. He seen me get the net. He seen me get the net. This near going home with me if I get him in. Look at y'all, look at y'all, what one, y'all. Couldn't y'all see that? Look right here. Look at that boy, look at what a pretty. 
Come on, Mr. Flat. Yeah. <laughs> now we got him. <laughs> boy, that's a big step. Heavy fish right there, boy. Look at what a beautiful fish. Lord, how much. Look at what a pretty fish. Bless his heart. Look at there. Yeah, I'm going to put him back there in the live well. He heard me say that. Look, I got him right there in the whisker. Look at that. What a pretty fish, y'all. Look, look how he's marked up, how pretty that fish is. Goodness. Got them black splotches all over him. Well, oh, my dad, he'd been wanting him a nice flat-headed catfish to eat. So right here it is, right here. Look at that. That's a perfect eating size right there. So I'll tell you that bait right there. That's, that's what you need right there, folks. Get you some of it and go fishing. You'll have a good time. I can't take no more, folks. I'm going to the house. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll show her there, and we'll catch you next time. And I'm going to hunt a hot dog. <laughs>